Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm sharing with you my Rite Aid and store shopping haul. I did happen to come out to my local Rite Aid store this week to take advantage of some pretty great and amazing sales and savings. If you have not yet had an opportunity to do so, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for stopping by today to take a look what I ended up going ahead and getting over at Rite Aid for the week. So I did happen to come out to the store quite a few times already this week. So this is another trip that I did happen to make midweek over at Rite Aid. This week we do have a wonderful spend booster coupon. It is spend $45 or more before coupons, earn yourself back $10 in bonus cash. And you could actually end up doing this a total of four separate times per Rite Aid reward member account. There's a website barcode, an email barcode, a social media barcode, or a circular in ad booster barcode. So next week we don't unfortunately have a spend booster coupon, but we do have a Procter & Gamble promotional opportunity where you spend a certain amount, you earn some bonus cash. So there is um, a wrap up also of monthly bonus cash challenges as well. As you know, next week it will be the end of the earning period for that. So as far as this trip is concerned, I did want to go ahead and get in at least one other trip. This is one of them that I did end up doing. I did have a few issues I do want to discuss and talk about in this video, but I hope you find this video helpful. So I wanted to make sure I spent over $40, actually 45 in total to go ahead and make sure I got the spend booster, earning $10 additional on top of that. I did also want to take advantage of this week's Haleon promotion. It's like um, GlaxoSmithKline. Uh, they have select products over at Rite Aid this week where if you spend $25 or more before coupons, you can earn back $10 in bonus cash. And each account has a limit of two times you can do it. And also they have a activate rewards prepaid Visa gift card promotional payback where if you spend $25 on select items as well, you can earn yourself back $10 in a Visa gift card. So you just simply submit your receipt, you wait for approval. Actually, the good news is since I went ahead and um, I shopped like this past trip, like this actual trip, like my receipt was almost approved within the hour. But when I went ahead and I came out to the store, I think it was um, for Tuesday's purchases, I did have to wait like a few days. I think it was until yesterday for approval. So it's a little weird. It could be approved right away or they could make you wait. So it all depends. But this is what I got. So in a uh, part of that promotion for the Haleon particular items, I picked up Advil, Robitussin, Theraflu. As far as this Clorox, that's a separate promotion. Brillo is a filler item. And this Highlands Oral Pain Relief is a filler item as well. So I picked up these Advil Dual Action with acetaminophen and they're 72 count. And the reason that I wanted to throw these into the transaction is a while back I got two email specific purchase based coupons of $5 off two products and some of them that happened to be included in the promotion was these Advil Dual Action 36 plus count ones or so I thought. So I thought that's great because we have also a $3 off one digital load to cart coupon. So that's why I picked these up because I thought this is great. It'll count towards my spend booster. It accounts towards the Haleon promotion and also the prepaid Visa gift card promotion too. I also threw into my transaction this Robitussin and this Theraflu. Now back to these Advil. These Advil over at my store are regular retail, $13.69. They are also on promotion of buy one, get one 50% off this week. As I said, $3 off digital load to car coupon. And there's also a um, email five off two coupon. 
I could link that because it's expiring on the 29th. And if you want to go ahead and use that, I could put that under my community tab. If uh, any of you want to go ahead and try it out yourselves to see if you can get it to work. But I couldn't get it to work and I'll talk about it later. I also, as I said, picked up this Robitism this week over at my Rite Aid. This is on sale for $8.49 each. There are a few different varieties. I picked this one up because I thought it would be most powerful towards when I need it. There's the UPC barcode for it. There is a nice, wonderful $2 off one digital low to cart coupon that does apply without an issue towards your transaction. And also to finish up, to boost me way above the 25 where I need it to be with and um, after my loads of card coupons and coupons in general, I picked up this Theraflu. It's a six count packlet and there's the UPC barcode. It's on sale for $8.49 like the Robitism. Again, there's a $2 off one digital load to card coupon. If you have used these coupons already, there isn't a second chance for them. Just keep that in mind if you have done uh, another transaction where you used it, there isn't another one. I also threw into the transaction, in addition to these four items that count towards all the goodies, I threw in this Clorox Clinging Bleach Gel. Over at my Rite Aid, it is on sale for $3.89. That's its regular price, but it is on promotion this week where you can buy one. So pick up one of these if you'd like. It's the lowest price Clorox product that I could find. Earn back $2 in bonus cash with a limit of two. So if you want to go ahead and pick that up, there's the UPC barcode. There's that. I didn't have any digital load to cart coupons for that. If you have any manufacturer ones or any um, shop kicks, scan kicks, anything good like that, you know, feel free to tie that into your transaction, certainly. I also picked up this filler item. With my filler items, I usually have the cashier scan my filler items first. This way, any purchase based coupons that I'm using for the day will go ahead and end up attaching to these items. So these are just a dollar. It's a nine pound pack of dish packs. These work great in my dishwasher, and I really love how my dishes end up turning out as a result. I also picked up as a filler item, this Highlands Natural Baby Oral Pain Relief Daytime 125 Quick Dissolve Tablets. Now the reason why I picked this up is it was tagged for $5 and I think it was 24 cents over at my Rite Aid. That's 50% off its normal regular retail price of $10.49. But actually, in all actuality, it was on sale for 75% off. Now, I had a $3 off one, and this was pictured, digital low to guard coupon off the Highlands Baby. And unfortunately, I have another sad news story to tell you. The digital low to guard didn't come off because it wasn't priced above $3, but just keep that in mind. So I threw in these filler items. <coughs> I threw in over $25 worth of that as Halion items. I threw on the Clorox. Now, I wanted to make sure I was definitely above $45. Now, let me tell you when I say this, I was literally just above $45, but yet under $46 before tax. That also goes before coupons. So, the coupons that I had going was I had um, a purchase based coupon. I actually had another one which kind of upset me because I could have probably used it knowing the circumstance regarding this and that. But let's talk about it. So I got up to the cashier and I went ahead and I made sure they scanned the Brillo dish packs first. Then from that point, I said, okay, you can go ahead and scan like these Highlands, then you can scan these Clorox, and then you can scan the other items in whichever order you want to. But I was like, boom, bang, boom. So then after, as I'm seeing, I'm seeing my digital logic card coupons come off. The ones that I'm seeing come off are not for the Highlands. The $3 off one of my Advil is coming off. I'm seeing a $2 off one of my Robitussin coming off, and I'm seeing another $2 off my Theraflu coming off. So all together, I'm seeing three, five, seven. That's three, two, two equals seven altogether. I then from that point handed the cashier one of the spend booster barcodes to go ahead and scan. My cashier scanned my spend booster. And then after that, I had my cashier scan my $5 off $25 or more purchase based coupon. I had another like five off 15 and a five off 20, but here I was like, I have all these load to car coupons 
And then I also had that $5 off two like specific cold and flu products. And it said Advil dual action or Advil PM I could use it on. So I assumed it was going to work. So when the cashier scanned it, unfortunately, it didn't apply to my purchase. So I was like pretty upset because the Highlands I knew about. And I was like, okay, that's unfortunate because it was tagged at $5.24. But the Advil was a big bummer. <coughs> so I thought, okay, I'll just have my cashier do the transaction the way it is. I don't want to mess anything up. And I'll be in touch with customer service. So the transaction ran through like this. I went ahead and ran through the Brillo dish pack, nine count a dollar. My $5 off, 25, you see came off. Got that Clorox for $3.89. The Ferraflu rang up $8.49 minus $2 off load to card. The Robotism $8.49 minus $2 off load to card. The $2.62 for the Highlands Baby Oral Care, again, regularly priced at $10.49. You see the first Advil for $13.69. The $3 off one digital load to card applying to that. And then you see the second one ringing up at the 50% off price at $6.84. And no other coupons. Subtotal 3302. I did have to pay some tax. So it was 3329. That's what I paid. And I ended up earning back $22 in bonus cash right away. Now, how I earned the 22 was I earned $2 for this Clorox cleaning bleach gel, perfect for the toilet. I also earned $10 in bonus cash for spending over 25 of the select Haleon products. And I earned for the spin booster for the transaction being over $45. You spend $45, you earn back $10 in bonus cash. So that made like right now $11.29. So then I also earned 450 points, which once converted, it's about 90 cents in Rite Aid money. Okay. Then I went ahead and I submitted my receipt to www the number two dot activate rewards.com slash goal getter two zero two four i entered all of my personal information i started my receipts like i show you right there it was approved shortly thereafter and i got right away a ten dollar prepaid visa gift card so that made my transaction only 39 cents at this point but i didn't stop there folks I did have a problem because remember my third dollar off digital loads of card didn't apply to the Highlands baby product and it was picture due and my five dollar off too of the Advil dual action didn't apply as well which I was upset about. So the next day I contacted customer service and wouldn't you know everything was great and wonderful and they said that they were going to credit my account by 6 a.m. the next day with $8 in bonus cash. So that turned this not money maker into a $7.61 money maker. That means like, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It means for each item practically that I picked up, Rite Aid paid me a dollar to go ahead and take it off their hands. I am so happy and proud of myself. I did happen to do this transaction. I sure hope you can get out to write it to see if you can take advantage of those Halion items. It's a really great, great fun way to save yourself some money on some really staple items, especially for cold and flu season, winter. I already have a scratchy throat. I can barely go ahead and talk a whole sentence without choking or coughing in the winter time. That's just the way it is. It seems like we're always sick, especially if we have children or we work or anything else like that. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, please be sure to like and subscribe for more great videos. I love shopping at Rite Aid. I really, truly do. And I love sharing with you all all of my Rite Aid hauls and brags regarding the things that I ended up personally going ahead and picking up. If you do do that Halion promotion and you're skeptical about like the submission to the website, whether or not they're going to like kick it because you use like a digital low to cart coupon or something else like that. Be sure and toss in like a filler item. Doesn't have to be these ones, but try and get your hands on a nice little filler item. Even if it's like a little 39 cent candy or something else like that. And have your cashier scan that first. 
And then don't forget, have them scan the spend booster, but make sure you're above $45 this week before they scan that spend booster to ensure that you're gonna get back that $10 in bonus cash when you pick up $45 or more before load to guard and manufacture coupons, okay? Other than that, thank you so much for your time. I hope you all have a great, wonderful day, a nice, beautiful weekend, and I will certainly catch you on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Randy. I love you. High five every day, every day. Thank you. Bye.